Hey, what's up guys? This is gonna be a bit different. It's just a super quick uh, little demo. If you guys don't know, Deno has been released. It's kind of like marketed as a successor to Node.js, but there are a few differences to Node.js. Um, it uses TypeScript by default. It's top level async. You import packages using URL, so there's no package.json, and it's now built using Rust. So outside of all of that, all I wanted to do was see how to go about making an, a simple HTTP server in Deno and it's super easy. So the first thing you need to do is install Deno. The installation instructions are on their website. It's really basic. Then I needed to start up the server. So I'm using this Oak middleware framework and I'm just going to use this import. So I've already set up an index.ts file and what I'm going to do is paste that import in and you can see here you're importing uh, straight from the URL no package.json. So in this uh, tutorial, I just want to make a few endpoints. I want to make a users endpoint where we can get users, a users forward slash ID endpoint so we can fetch a specific user and a post users endpoint so we can create a user. So I want to just also use a UID library so we can create unique keys for our users. So let's go back to the Deno website. And here there's a link to, where is it? Pika.dev, pika.dev. Pika? I don't know. And here we can grab the UID library. So I'm just going to search UID. And he has Pico UID, tiny unique ID generator. It's exactly what we're looking for. So now we don't npm install this. What we do is we go to import, we copy this import statement, and we replace this with UID and that will give us the UID function imported from this directory. Cool, so now let's start our application. So the first thing we wanna do is create a new app. And because it's top level async, we can go await app.listen. Port 8000. So now we need a root handler. So from this oak module, we can import router and we can say create a new router. And we can attach some routes to that. So and this expects a function which gets a context and we can add to the body. And now we should be able to run this. So let's open console and we can go deno run index.ts. Now we're gonna enter into a problem. It's gonna say to run this, we have to run it with the allow net flag. And that's because all permissions are denied by default for deno. So it's what's called a secure runtime. So let's just copy this flag. And then we go deno run and index.ts. Spell it properly. Great, and now our server should be running. We just go back to our browser, localhost, 1000. No, it's not. Oh, okay, that's because we need to go app, we need to use our roots. just restart this and um, for mine just compiles but yours would probably download these packages if it's the first time you're running it hey and it works cool so let's create a users array and we'll return that users array when someone goes to forward slash users so let's create a type of user We'll have an ID, a name, and an email address. And this is the this is TypeScript. So and users. Now if we go to get users. We'll return those users. 
recompile and we should just get a blank array. Perfect. So now let's create a post endpoint so we can create a user. So add a post method. So let's just grab the, the a name field and an email field from our request. So we'll do use some destructuring. So we'll grab the value, grab name and email. Now this method is asynchronous, so we can use await here and then make our function async and we'll make our new user and we'll give it an ID of the UID which we've imported from here then we'll add name email and we can append that to our users array and then we'll return the user we created. So now we restart our server. No issues. Users is blank. Um, let's open up Insomnia. And then let's post to and let's post to users. And we expect it to pass through a name, and that will be Dan and an email address. We'll say dan at email.com. And then if we send this, awesome. So we stored a user in our array. Now let's create an endpoint to fetch that user based on the ID. So I'll create another get request. Users, and we'll expect it to have an ID. Cool, so what we do is we find the user. So we use the users.find method and we check if the user ID is equal to the ID we got from the path parameter. So we just go context.params.id. If it is, then we'll return the user. Otherwise, we'll return user not found and that's it so we start our server here yeah, we refreshed our users page we have no users let's try grab a user that doesn't exist user not found okay that makes sense then let's add a user back to insomnia we'll add dan and dan an email and now we have a user with this id let's also add another user called tom Tom and Tom send this through and we'll grab his ID and if we refresh our users we'll have both our users and if we put Tom's ID here we'll have the data stored under Tom and that's it cool uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, Deno seems pretty rad let me know in the comments below if you guys are using it or preparing to use it in production or at home cool thanks guys cheers